I want to take a moment to wish Mayor John Rednar of DuCoin, Illinois, a happy 78th birthday and thank him as he prepares to retire for so many great years of public service to his town in Illinois. John Rednar, known to most people as simply Rednar, has served as mayor of DuCoin since 1989. Public service was his third career. He started work as an iron worker, member of the United Iron Workers worked on projects in St. Louis and Chicago and served as site superintendent during construction of the U.S. Federal Penitentiary in Marion. In 1970, John moved to DuCoin with his wife Wanda and their three kids. In the early 80s, John began his second career when he and some local shareholders took control of the DuCoin State Bank, converting it into a community bank that served downstate Illinois. Today, the bank stands as one of the strongest in our state, and John remains the bank's chairman. But it was John Rednar's work as mayor of DuCoin that really distinguished his public service. In 23 years as mayor, he focused on balancing the city's budget and investing in its infrastructure. His legacy to DuCoin includes construction of the Poplar Street overpass, a major thoroughfare for travel on Highway 51 through Southern Illinois, improved water and service, uh, and development of an industrial park. He managed to do all of this with a balanced budget, creating new opportunities for his community, even in tough times. He's a member of the five-person Illinois State Police Merit Board, and a proud Democrat, I might add, but he knows there are some things that need to be done on a bipartisan basis. He's made it his habit to meet with the DuCoin City Council members and offered uh, to take advice from each and every one of them. He told them to always vote for what's good for DuCoin. Loretta and I consider ourselves lucky to count John and Wanda Rednar among our friends. We have many happy memories of state fair parties at the Rednar home during our trips to the du DuCoin State Fair. Loretta and I have been regular visitors to Rednar's home and have warm memories of staying overnight after the fair party and having Wanda greet us with a breakfast with their so-called Texas pancakes, and they could fit in the state of Texas. As a labor leader, businessman, mayor, husband, father, John Rednar has contributed enormously to DuCoin downstate Illinois and to our entire state and nation. While his day-to-day -day presence in City Hall is going to be missed, residents of DuCoin can take comfort in knowing that John Rednar's leadership is still in their community with a strong foundation and a bright future. In addition to three children, John and Wanda are blessed with five grandchildren and five great-grandchildren who I'm sure are going to be glad to have more time with John and Wanda now. I thank John for his many years of distinguished public service. Loretta and I wish him and his family all the best in retirement. We look forward to many more stories and more pancakes in the years to come.